Hello everybody! Justy Dusty here, welcome back to some more Wii Party. I just made four new me's, so we're gonna have some extra me's that we can see. And I think I'm going to go to Garden Gridlock this time. I don't know if I'll be doing all of it, but we'll uh, do as much as we can. But, as far as uh, these me's are concerned, I don't... Huh? Okay, that's just weird. I don't know why these two are here, but... I've, I've made Bart, Jake, Jenny, Craig, Chris, and Alexa. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six more new characters, so I guess I have nine total. But yeah. Um, for this one, I guess we'll, uh, go with Bart. Why not? Let's get into it. Okay, place each me so that it will pick up a watering can and walk to a plant to make it bloom. There are sturdy... Sturdy, what? 30 stages in all. After you cleared a stage, you can replay it whenever you want. Alright, so we got a point out of me and press A to pick it up and place it to begin, point at to play and press A, okay. Alright, so this is basically more of a puzzle solving game, so it will get a little more tricky as time goes on. Obviously, for the first set of stages, it's gonna be easy as pie, so... There we go, he'll pick that up and then just water and bloom. There you go. If they made stage one the hardest, that would be not only really unfair, but yeah. Okay, so if you put him there, then he, the arrows, he's going to go wherever the arrows point him to. So, in order to get this watering can, we're just going to go here. And then we'll turn right there, and there you go. Alright, so here we have two flowers, and two watering cans, so... And depending on where the, these maze are facing, you have to make them pick up a specific water watering can because they can't turn themselves up you can't rotate them so you have to I'm gonna put this guy here because then he'll hit that and then hit this watering can and then go there but I think I'm gonna make him go there because if they crash into each other then you'll fail this particular um, stage and then you'll have to replay the stage thankfully you don't have to start at the beginning at level one, stage one, you just have to replay the stage that you failed, so there you go. And there's a redo, so if you don't think that it's gonna do any, uh, gonna successfully finish, then you can just hit redo to redo it. Uh, fast forward, I don't know what goes on with that, but uh, I'm sure we'll make use of it at some point. Here we have the teleporters, so put her there, so she'll pick that up, go in this teleporter, go here, and then bam. Pretty easy, so far. Alright, uh, I don't know how long this uh, will take, but hopefully I'll be able to get this done in under an hour. Um, put her there, so that way she'll go in the teleporter, and then, uh, yeah. Piece of cake. Or a piece of flour. Cool. First five are done. 25, 24 more to go. 25, yeah. Okay. They are both facing the same... Okay. Uh, hello? Okay, so they go in at the same time, they'll exit on the, they'll exit the other teleporter at the same time, 
And then they'll... Yeah. There you go. And obviously, fast forward, you can also make them walk back faster to the flowers, but we'll, ju we'll just let it play out. We don't need to do any fast forwarding unless it's necessary. Alright, um... This switch will change the directions of the arrows. And I think if a p player steps, if a character steps on the switch, then they'll stay put. I think. Does he? Yes, okay. Um, so we want to put her there. So when, yeah, there you go. Now, I think, I, I don't know if I said this, but I was going to watch a particular um, playthrough on YouTube of Wii Party and find out exactly how this uh, mode grid garden gridlock worked. As a uh, person on YouTube has gone through the whole uh, garden gridlock mode. But uh, this is easy enough that there's no real issue in um, doing this yourself. It's you'll learn quickly. These are not very hard to do. So you breeze on through quite easily. Now we have platforms. So let's see. Right. So this is. So move the platform over there, and then walk along the arrows. Huh? That's later. And then. Uh, so walk there, and then the platform right there, so she'll step on that, and then water the flower. Clear. That is easy, to say the least. If uh, if you didn't move the platform there, then she would have fallen down, and that would not have been good. You'll fail the stage. Okay, so obviously someone goes there. And someone goes there. If you put her over here onto this platform behind this uh, platform, then she'll get this watering can and then water this flower. But then she has nowhere to go. So she won't be able to get that either. So. Yeah, she wouldn't even be able to get that. Uh, Wait, she would. Oh! Oh, wow. I did it backwards. I did it backwards. Oh, my. Okay. So, she actually will go there. So, she gets that watering can. Oh, pfft. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's clearly not it either. Okay. Uh... Ah! She gets that watering can, and then she'll water that, then she'll come back here and then do that. Okay. Yep. One moment you think you find the solution, only to find that it's not exactly the solution, but you can keep redoing it until you get it. There's no real uh, harm and failing. But it is a uh, problem solving, so you'll train your mind, train your brain to actually do this stuff. Um, okay, so she goes there. So walk across here and then hit the switch. And then what? No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe go down that way. So that way she'll have time to... Nope. Unless I move her there.
Well, that was close, but it still works. So basically, you can put the person face in there, and then just have the other person be back here, and you'll do this no problem. Okay, what do we do here? Okay, so one person gets this watering can. But, okay, one person, obviously, hmm, so he will go this way and then hit that switch, and then this person will come down here, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I think it's better if he goes over there. Cause if he goes here, then he'll move this platform out of the way and you can't stop the platform mid uh, movement. So you need this to stop here and then, yeah. There we go. We got it. Well, I got it. I'm the one playing this thing, so. Yeah, but, uh, not that we're going too hard to complete. Now we have up to three characters to, to use here. Oh boy. One pushes the switch, one pushes the other switch, and then one takes the can and waters it. So you can also turn the board around if you need some extra angles, and they're zooming in and out as well, but I think, uh, when you have a big layout, then you have the zoom option. Um, okay, so this, uh, this guy obviously goes here. Don't know how quickly he has to go, but... Um, okay, that's, that should do it. There we go. Yeah, he's smiling. He's smiling like Clint Eastwood. Almost. Not really, I don't know. Okay, stage 14. We're about halfway there. Wow. This is going by a bit quicker than I thought it would. Um, although this is starting to get a little tricky here. All these arrows you have to uh, think about. Um... Okay, so one person goes here to move the platform and then hit the switch. And then one person over here to hit here and then get the watering can. But then what this person, what is this person doing? I think she's supposed to go here. Considering, um... So she flips the switch first. She moves. And then after she goes this way, then the switch uh, gets hit again and then it should play out. There we go. What? Well, that was the case of someone falling off the map. Okay. Okay, so she obviously needs to be there. So we'll move her there, and then that should allow... ...to be... Yeah, there you go. Okay. I had the right idea, it was just a matter of... ...which one of them hitting the switch first. That's why they give you the option to redo the stage, so there you go. Uh, there's these two platforms, right? Not really platforms, but they're not really appearing. And I don't... I think they might be the case of if you walk over it two times, you'll fall through. 
one time it quacks up and then the second time it goes through. So I think that's what happens there. Uh, I think you go there. And... I think... Yeah. It cracked on the first time, so if you go over it again, you're gonna fall through. I think we'll have uh, more of a case of that in the later stages, especially because there's another one right here. So clearly, you don't go through that. I think you just get this. Wait. Actually, no. You get that. You get this. Never mind. Apparently not. I was right though, the second time you do fall through. Even if even if I put her there and him here, that's still not really going to work. Cause this will still crack up after she goes over it. So this watering can is a one-time solution. Ah! Smart. Clever. I am so clever, it's ridiculous. Okay. Start. Ooh, we got a green transporter now, or more tail. Purple and green, I guess we'll call them. Um, ooh. Okay. He goes through that, cracks that up, goes through that, cracks that up, and pulls it. Good job. Clear. That was easier than the previous one. Come on, game. Oh my god. Ah, boy. Okay. Uh, you go there. And you... You need to enter at the same time. So let's go that There we go. So that way he'll go over here and water that plant, and then she will water this plant. Yeah, that's my Beamer, and that's the Alexa. One of the new ones I made. So that's pretty cute. Alright. Um, one hit the switch, and the other... Hmm. Now the only question is... Ooh. Perfect. That was uh, pretty easy. These are not really that challenging, to say the least. I did have a little trouble, but nothing too difficult. Uh, we got a spring now, so um, ooh. Okay, you go there. You go there. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. The spring will uh, spring the characters as many times as you wish, so that doesn't break or anything. Unless there is a break limit, but I doubt there is. Um, okay, so one of you clearly gets this. So you will go... Actually, that's not gonna work. Oh. Someone needs to hit that switch. So that has to be you. You will go there. You will go there. Perfect. 
Hop Clear. All right. Start. Nine more stages to go, and we're only at about 22 minutes. That's not bad. I'm going through this uh, pretty uh, quickly. Um. Okay, so... <coughs> so you could go... Oh my god. So you can go in there, and then walk across these two pieces of ice, and then go to that one. Or what? Oh, well, this is not good. Okay, wait a minute. This makes more sense. So he going to water that one, he'll water that. Yeah, okay. Alright, that wasn't as bad. It looked like that they could um, cross each other at some point, but it, they, they, didn't, they didn't need to do that. So we were good there. This looks more problematic though. Oh boy. Uh, so obviously one goes through the transporter. Okay, um, you obviously go there. So you'll jump on that, and then jump on that, and then you get that. And then once the switch is hit, you go this way. You go there. So you hit those two arrows and then go there. You go there. Hmm. Not bad. Very nice. Yeah. All right. What do you got? Ooh, we got a statue breathing fire. Oh boy. Okay. So obviously the button will turn it off. How we get there though is another question entirely. So, so we'll have you go there, and you go there. And they have the uh, wind-up mechanism on the back, backs of them, basically looking like wind-up toys for some reason. I don't know why they needed to do that, but yeah, there we go. We got lime green. We got lime green. My God. Uh, you, I guess, should go there. I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna put you. There, and I'm gonna put you there. Really? Okay. You go back one then. A booyah! Clear. Okay, we got one fire breathing statue. We gotta get over there somehow. How do we get over there? So one hits the switch, and then another one has to turn off the fire. Huh. Okay, so... He goes this way. 
you. No, that's not gonna work. Hmm. So if she grabs that, then she'll come here. And then once he hits the switch, then she'll go this way and then come out here. But he needs to get to the switch before she get here. Oh, really? Alright, let's try that one. There we go, that works. Okay. That was pretty cool. That was a nice, decent puzzle there. Good for the boy. Feel smarter already. Not really. Okay. Um. Ooh. Ooh, boy, this is uh wicked. Uh. Okay. So obviously, they take the platform there. Unless that works, we just have to hit the switch before he gets there. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I was making it harder on myself for some reason. She just needed to be closer to the arrow. Clear. Not way back there. <laughs> okay, now this looks like it'll be more complicated. Hmm. Let's see. So, maybe she goes... No. No. Okay, someone... Someone goes through the teleporter. And get this watering can and goes over there. Okay, so this person... No. Okay, so you go hit that arrow go, and then go in here. And then you'll get that watering can and flower over there. You, I guess... Actually, no. Well, she's gonna hit the flame. Ah. So you will actually hit the switch. This person get the watering can and then go right. But then you she kind of missed the flower altogether. Unless. That wouldn't make sense either. You can't start on the ice. That would make it too easy. Unless she hit the this arrow, get that one on can and go and then go through the green. And then she'll hop over here. That should work. Yeah, that works. Huh. Oh yeah. I feel smart after that one. S-M-A-R-T. Start. 
Oh, um. Okay, someone uses the platform. And then goes in the purple transporter and hits the switch. So I guess you will do that. And then you go That's not gonna work. Did I really just do it? Oh my god. Clear. Wow, that w that took forever. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't even think that was going to be the key there. Oh boy. Whew. And now this looks even more difficult. <laughs> and I'm probably going to take even longer to figure this out. <laughs> you could look at the key, but oh, that just gives you an explanation of the different things. Oh. Well, that's not helpful, man. All right. Well, I'll be right back once I figure out a solution because my brain can't handle this uh, humongity of a layout. Nobody even grabbed the fire can. I mean, pfft, watering can. <laughs> watering can. There has to be a platform over here, but there isn't. Not really it. Let's try this. I think I got it. Yeah, man. We got it, man. Oh, we did it! We did it! Whew! Stage 30, clear. We've completed Garden Gridlock. Wow, that took quite a bit of time for me to figure out 29 and 30. My god, that was, oh my lord. Whew! Well, there's no uh, record system or high school system or anything of that sort, but hope you guys enjoyed that. Next time on We Party, I guess we can do Clover Hunt and 50 Gifts and maybe even About Space. Later, we'll go to Free Play and then do everything there as well. So yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of this uh, gameplay here for We Party. I do have We Party U that I can do as well. So, I'll be playing that probably after this, unless you guys want a different party game. I do have all the Mario parties. I can't record handheld Mario games, but I do have all the console Mario party games, so there's that. I could probably do a playthrough of Mario Party 9. Aside from solo mode in that game, I could probably do a let's play of that, but I have to uh, take the game to a store, so a buddy of mine can put it in the surface cleaner and clean the disc and hopefully that will allow the game to continue working so I don't have to replace the disc. So yeah. Alright, hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time for more. Later.